All right, legends, welcome back. And I wanted to give you guys one last video before the global launch of Apex Legends Mobile. You guys have probably already seen the trailer now, and I'm going to break down some global leaks in that trailer. But before I do, make sure you are subbed and make sure you got your notifications on for the 16th of May in three days' time. It includes this and some other huge announcements. All right, guys, behind me is the official trailer, and I'm going to show you some nasty global leaks that's coming. Now, if I stop the video right here, you can see we have Loba, Watson, and Crypto, okay? These are three legends that weren't in any of the betas for Apex Legends Mobile. So it looks like they're going to be brand new legends that's coming in global. Let's just take a minute, boys. Loba. <laughs> So the big question is, are these three going to be in the global launch on the 17th of May? Are they going to be introduced into the game right away? Or are they going to come over multiple seasons? Now, guys, we've already got nine legends in the game, okay? And remember, a lot of people are going to be trying out Apex Legends Mobile as their first game. There's going to be a lot of new players, a lot of players that have never even played the PC or console version. So for Respawn to add these three on top of the nine that are already in the game, it's going to be very confusing for a lot of people. I mean, nine legends is going to be quite confusing to get a grip of anyway, right? But adding another three is just going to make it more confusing so i personally think that these three legends will come obviously they're in the trailer that people are going to be questioning you know where are these legends but i think they're going to get rolled out over multiple seasons now the seasons are probably going to be around two months long so that actually gives a good time to give a new legend each season to you know create the hype and for us all to get some nasty juicy content on that so i personally think yeah they're not going to be in global at the start and i pray to god that lobo comes first because i'm about to now there's a couple more leaks in the trailer if we pause it right here this is every one of the legends dropping out of the jump ship you can see capital city at the top of the screen now this part right here is drill site right over here is skyhook but then drill site is at the bottom of the screen and that does not look like drill site the buildings are not in the right location as drill site so could this indicate that we're going to get some map changes in a mobile version that aren't in the pc and console version again this could just be because of the trailer you know they could just be adding you know a few different things here and there because it is you know a cgi trailer but yeah, just a little thing I spotted. Another little small thing I spotted as well while Octane's fighting this Pathfinder right here. This is the top of one of the construction buildings. Now, there's two doors on this building, right? So this isn't a huge thing, but could they be adding, you know, multiple new things in the mobile version like doors as well? So you're going to have to open and close doors behind you when you're going up zip lines because this should be a zip line going up and it should be an open space. You can go out straight onto the roof of the construction building. But now there's doors there, so it's quite interesting. Now, next up is a huge, huge global leak, okay? Right here in Rafe's hands. That is... Rafe's heirloom called the kunai. Now, heirlooms are basically very, very rare, epic sort of melee things that you can hold while running. Now, to get one of these on the PC and console version, you can only get it from opening Apex packs. Now, it's rumored that you can get an heirloom in any pack, but you have to get an heirloom within 500 pack openings. I've known people to get it on the 499th time. I've known people to open a pack straight away and get one of the heirlooms as well. When you open a pack, you get what's called heirloom shards. And then with those heirloom shards, you can buy any specific legend's heirloom. And the heirlooms are sick. Every legend, again, has got an individual heirloom. Rafe's Kunai is probably one of the most overused heirlooms. And a lot of people will be going for it in the mobile version. Now, the next biggest thing right here. You can see that there is a new exclusive legend coming to the mobile version. He looks freaking insane, you know? He looks like some beefed up dude. He's got some big beefed up armor as well. He looks he maybe like some sort of, you know, Iron Man character. He's got the, uh, the orb right in the center of his chest so let me know in the comments what you think about the new legend and how happy you are actually for there being mobile exclusive legends i hope we're going to find out you know more story about him because there's a lot of lore on all of the apex legends characters and again just pointing out his armor he's got some sort of disc thing on his shoulder as well so i don't know what that means maybe he can take that off i don't know but all in all he actually looks pretty cool and then just to clear some things up guys this guy right here a lot of people are saying this is another exclusive legends coming to the mobile version this guy has pretty much been in all of the trailers or some of the trailers for Apex Legends PC and console since the very start three years ago. I've been into Apex Legends PC for three years, playing it non-stop, and this guy is in most of the trailers. He's basically just a hype guy. I think he's maybe like the owner of the, the, the Apex games that you know that you, that you fight in. But yeah, this guy would have come to the PC and console version already, so I think he's just a hype man. All right, lastly, I've got a confirmed time from EA on the 17th of May of when the global launch is actually coming out. It's going to be releasing at 5 a.m. in the UK. Now, UK time is BST. Now, you guys in 
the US, that's going to be 9 p.m. on May the 16th, the day before. And then you guys that are in other parts of the world, you're going to have to work out the time yourself. So that's it for today's video, guys. I wanted to keep it a bit raw and just show you guys the trailer breakdown. Global is in four days' time, so get hyped. And look out on May 16th. I've got some exclusive, incredible stuff to show you guys, okay? It also includes... This fat giveaway. I know I keep saying it every video, but one of you lucky guys are going to win a Red Magic 7. Don't miss out on that. Keep your notifications on. Stay subscribed. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit a like. In order to actually win this as well, you're going to have to go follow me on Twitter. So Twitter link, Rosemith underscore. Make sure you go follow it and I'll catch you guys in the global launch of Apex Legends Mobile. I'm going to be live streaming a lot of it. So make sure you tune into the streams, play some viewer games with me and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.